find the domain of this function. So we're looking for the domain of this root function. This is a square root. There's really an invisible two here. So whenever you're looking for the domain of a root function and the index, this is called the index, and the index is even, the first step is you take whatever's inside your root and you set it greater than or equal to zero. So step one, take this whole thing and set it greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so again, whenever you have a root function and you have an even index and you're looking for the domain, that is the very first step. Okay, so now we just have to solve this. Um, there's a couple ways of doing this. Uh, an interesting way, I think, is to think about it as a function. Think of it as y equals 81 minus x squared. And the question becomes, when is it greater than or equal to zero? Well, negative x squared is an upside down parabola. And when you add 81 to it, you basically have something that looks like this, right? You have an upside down parabola shifted up 81 units. It's really cool. And if you think about it, you're trying to figure out when is it greater than or equal to zero. So for what values of x is it positive? In other words, is it above the x-axis? Well, all of these values of x here. And the question becomes, okay, what are these points here? Well, what makes this zero, right? Nine and negative nine. So this is nine and this is negative nine. So everywhere between negative nine and nine, including negative nine and nine, the graph of this function is zero or positive. In other words, y is greater than or equal to zero. So that means that the answer here would be negative nine to nine. An interesting solution to an unrelated problem. I hope this video has been helpful.